everyone, today I'm going to show you how to paint with nail polish, um, with wire. All you need is nail polish and um, some kind of surface that you don't mind getting a little bit messy um, and some wire. You can use fuse wire or something a little bit thicker as long as it's really easy for you to bend. So the first step is to take some wire and twist um, a shape. I like to do flowers but you could just do little um, little loops and the loops in the wire have to be really small because if you do the loops too thick the nail polish sort of doesn't stretch across and it you can see I was doing this earlier and it just it just didn't work like this one was just small enough for the nail polish to create um, a sturdy film across the loop but um, any bigger than that and it just loses its strength so nice and small it's really sweet and really effective. To make the loops um, you can just use your finger or you could maybe use a pencil or an old paintbrush um, and you would start with an amount to hold on to and then just twist it around to make nice loops. You could twist it a couple of times in the middle make another loop Twist it around and you just want to make sure that the wire is touching as the loop closes up so that you've just got this um, ring that the nail polish can grip all the edges of. Okay, so I've got one I made before and now I'll show you how to paint it. You can just use the paintbrush that's in the nail polish, otherwise you could use your own paintbrush although it's pretty hard to wash off. Okay so you want to get a fair bit of polish on there and the idea is to cover the loop with nail polish, sort of swish it around until the polish is touching all the edges of the loop gently pull it off and it should sit flat like that. So a fair bit of polish on there and then sit it on the loop. Yeah see if I swirl it around the polish kind of um, meets all the edges of the loop like that. pretty cool. You need somewhere for it to dry um, where the polished parts won't be touching um, any kind of surface because otherwise they'll probably stick to it. I wouldn't use this for jewellery only because I'd be worried that it might be a little bit too delicate. Maybe, maybe it could be used as earrings if you were really careful not to um, uh, puncture the polish. Oh see I've just bumped that and that's actually popped the bubble so to speak. It's like a it's like a flat bubble or a film. And when it dries, it's it's not going to be um, hard. It's sort of a bit bendy. You can't really see that very well, but there we go. Done. So I'm going to let that dry maybe on the edge of the tray like that. You can also use clear nail polish, obviously you still get the wire, but it has a kind of nice effect and if you hold it up to the sun, the window, that looks pretty cool. Like that. It doesn't have to be a flower, you can do a different kind of shape. I've seen um, trees done with this, which is really cool. 
but it's just a fun little craft. Makes a cute little ornament decoration and there's not a lot of material involved. So have fun.